Okay, you're solving systems using any method. That means you can use elimination, substitution, or the graphing method. So on this system, you already have that y equals negative one-third x plus six. So you can use this to plug in to the second equation. So you'll come over here and write the second equation, which is x plus three. And instead of y, we're going to put what y equals. So we're going to write this negative one-third x plus 6. We have to distribute this first. So we're going to distribute the 3 to both of these. So if you need to, you can come over here and write this off to the side. 3 times negative 1 third. You put a 1 underneath that. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 over 3 is going to give us a negative one. So three times negative one-third is going to give us negative one x. And we got that from up here. So three times negative one-third is negative one x. Three times six going to give us 18. And then we're just going to write down the 18 and bring it down. Now we combine like terms. We have x minus x Having just a regular x is the same as having 1x. So 1x minus 1x is going to give you 0. And then you're left with no variable and the fact that 18 equals 18. So this is a true statement. So this tells me it's going to be infinitely many solutions. When my variables cancel out with the true statement, it's going to be infinitely many solutions. Another way to solve this is to solve by graphing. Okay, to graph these two, you would have to subtract the x to get it in y equals mx plus b form or slope intercept form. And then you would divide these by 3. That means I'd be left with y equals, this would give me a negative one-third x plus six. You guys know enough about equations where you could look at these two equations right here and tell that those are the same equations. You have negative one-third x plus six and negative one-third x plus six. Those two are the same equations, so those are going to be the same line on the graph. So when they are the same line on the graph, then that equals infinitely many solutions. That means that your lines are going to be coincident. They're going to be right on top of each other.